Hi, welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Alex and in this Adobe Illustrator tutorial we're going to look into how you can create a basic shape then create a scatter brush and a, a pattern brush uh, and apply it to a hand-drawn stroke or to a stroke of another object. We're going to look into how you can use the rotate tool to create some circular distribution of the basic shape and also how you can use the transform effect to uh, create similar effect as with rotation tool but retain the possibility to go back in and change some settings so let's get started first of all I like to um, go under edit and preferences and under general I like to tick off scale stroke and effect because I don't want uh, Illustrator to resize my stroke every time I resize my object and I tend to resize objects a lot so I'm going to start with a circle just holding shift and alt to create a perfect circle then shift C or go here to um, convert anchor point and just click on the top and the bottom one press A on the keyboard or go here to direct selection tool and then just select the center parts and the center anchors and press V on the keyboard or go to a selection tool and then just hold alt and resize it so this is the basic shape that I'm going to be using and then just open brushes or go under window brushes and then just click and drag it into brushes and it will this window will pop up and let's just create a scatter brush first and we're going to leave everything default and then we're going to go to brush and just draw a stroke and as you can see because I have this scatter, scatter brush uh, selected it immediately uh, placed these uh, objects onto the stroke that I just uh, drawn so if you want to change some settings you just double click on the scatter brush and then just resize it and play around with these settings you're going to figure out what they mean by yourself so just play around with them and after you make some changes press OK and then it will ask you if you want to leave the stroke that you already created or you want to apply to already created strokes so I normally just apply to the strokes that I created so uh, the next we're going to use the same object but now we're going to create a pattern brush and again I'm going to leave everything as it is and I'm going to create another circle and then just I'm going to select the pattern that, just, uh, that I just created and it's going to uh, make a copies of this uh, object and then I can just uh, play around with the stroke setting to uh, get different uh, number of copies of this basic object but as you can see uh, the basic object is being uh, trans distorted here at the center and here on the top it's not really the same as here so this is an issue when you uh, when you are using uh, pattern brushes so just uh, keep that in mind and sometimes I just create some additional additional object around uh, the one that I want to use and then just select both of them and then just drag it again into brushes again pattern brush ok and now if I just hold alt and duplicate this one and then just select the one that I just created because I created this out, outer box 
it now applies uh, spaces to the copies so this is really nice to know so then I'm going to um, just let me just ungroup that and delete that now I'm going to use rotate tool just press R on the keyboard or go here to rotate tool hold alt and click anywhere you want the center of the rotation to be and then a new window will pop up and then just click or in preview type in the number you want and press copy or OK copy it's going to create another one and then just press ctrl D a couple of times to get the copies the number of copies you want so these are separate objects so if you want them to be combined just select them all ctrl G on the keyboard to group them now the issue with this is you cannot go back in and turn this uh, all this at the same time so uh, let me just show you how you can do that so I'm just going to hold alt and duplicate this one and again uh, I'm going to um, create a small circle with no stroke and no fill and I'm just going to um, use this one this invisible one to um, tell Illustrator where I want the pivot point to be so I'm just going to group them again under effect distort and transform transform and then I'm just going to click on preview let's just set a number of copies and then just play around with the angle now you can see it's rotating around the center of both uh, selected objects because this dot is in the center and if I click this one you can see immediately I get a similar design as here and still I have the ability to um, increase the number of copies and angle and these are all being moved as one object so this is really nice and if I want to change something just go under window and appearance or click on this icon and under transform just click on transform and again we are in the same window as before and we can change the settings and just make a preview visible and then just maybe apply a couple of more copies and we get a totally different design the best thing about this technique is you can always go in uh, by double clicking on the group and then just move around the basic shape the basic anchors the basic the basic points and it's going to uh, and it's going to be applied to all of the copies instantly so this is a really nice trick to just get some additional uh, possibilities to quickly create some deformations to your basic shape you can also create uh, some changes to your pattern or scatter brush just for example I'm going to duplicate this basic shape and I'm just going to resize it a little bit and just move this one up and if you want to uh, apply all these changes to all the uh, all the patterns or all the scatter that you created just hold alt and click and drag and let go on the pattern that you want to uh, replace press ok and apply to strokes and as you can see here it immediately applied this new design to uh, to the early created effect and if you want to change the scatter brush again just hold alt and drag it through the scatter that you want to uh, change and as you can see here it immediately changed the scatter pattern so this was it for this tutorial check out the rest of my videos on my youtube channel subscribe to my channel and till next time bye